Welcome to this tutorial on simulating a heat exchanger in DWSIM. In this tutorial, we will learn to simulate a heat exchanger, calculate the outlet stream temperatures, calculate thermal efficiency and LMTD. To record this tutorial, I am using DWSIM 4.3 and Windows 7. The process demonstrated in this tutorial is identical in other OS also, such as Linux, Mac OS X, or Fossey OS on ARM. To practice this tutorial, you should know how to add components to a flow sheet, select thermodynamic packages, add material stream, and specify their properties. The prerequisite tutorials are mentioned on our website. You can access these tutorials and all the associated files from this site. We will develop a flow sheet to determine the outlet stream temperatures. Here we give compounds and inlet stream conditions. Here we give heat exchanger properties and property package. I have already opened DWSIM on my machine. Go to File menu and select New Steady State Simulation. Simulation Configuration Wizard window appears. At the bottom, click on Next button. Now, in the Compound Search tab, type Methanol. Select Methanol from Chemsep database. Similarly, add water. At the bottom, click on Next button. Now comes Property Packages. From available property packages, double click on Routes Law. Then click on Next button. We are moved to a new window named Flash Algorithm. From default Flash Algorithm, select Nested Loops VLE. Click on Next button. Next option is System of Units. Under System of Units, select C5. At the bottom, click on Finish button. Let us maximize the simulation window for better visibility. Now, let's insert two material stream that enter the heat exchanger. On the right hand side of the main simulation window, go to Flow Sheet Objects. In the Filter List tab, type Material Stream. From the displayed list, Drag and drop a material stream to the flow sheet. Click on the material stream MSTR000 to view its properties. Let's change the name of this stream to water in. Now we will specify the water in stream properties. Go to input data. Select flash spec as temperature and pressure if not already selected. By default, Temperature and pressure are already selected as flash spec. Change temperature to 10 degrees centigrade and press enter. Change pressure to 1 bar and press enter. Change mass flow to 15,000 kg per hour and press enter. Now let us specify the feed stream compositions. Under composition, choose the basis as Mole fractions if not already selected. By default, mole fractions is selected as basis. Now, for methanol, enter the amount as 0 and press enter. Similarly, for water, enter it as 1 and press enter. On the right, click on this green tick to accept changes. Now, drag and drop another material stream to the flow sheet. Click on material stream MSTR001 to view its properties. Let's change the name of this stream to methanol in. Now, we'll specify the methanol in stream properties. Go to input data. Select flash spec as temperature and pressure. By default, temperature and pressure are again already selected as flash spec. Change temperature to 80 degrees centigrade and press enter. Change pressure to 5 bar 
and press enter. Change mass flow to 25,000 kg per hour and press enter. Now, let us specify the methanol in stream compositions. Under composition, choose the basis as mole fractions if not already selected. By default, mole fractions is selected as basis. Now, for methanol, enter the amount as 1 and press enter. Similarly, for water, enter it as 0 and press enter. On the right, click on the green tick to accept changes. Now, let's insert two more material streams that exit the heat exchanger. To do that, let us drag one material stream. Let us now arrange it. Leave that stream as unspecified. We will change the name of this stream to water out. Next, we will insert another material stream. Let us once again arrange it. Leave that stream as unspecified. And name this stream as methanol out. Now, let us insert a heat exchanger into the flow sheet. Go to the flow sheet objects. In the filter list tab, type heat exchanger. Click on the heat exchanger displayed. Drag and drop it to the flow sheet. Let us now arrange it as required for better visibility. We are now ready to specify the heat exchanger. Let's click on it. On the left, we can see a tab called Property Editor window. Under Connections, click on the drop-down against Inlet Stream 1 and select Methanol In. Next, click on drop-down against Outlet Stream 1 and select Methanol Out. Then, click on drop-down against Inlet Stream 2 and select Water In. Then, click on drop-down against Outlet Stream 2 and select Water Out. Now go to the next section, Calculation Parameters. Here, the first option is Calculation Type. Click on the drop-down against Calculation Type. Select Outlet Temperatures. Next, click on the drop-down against Flow Direction. Select Counter Current. Then, click on the field against Cold Fluid Pressure Drop and enter 0.002 bar. Then, press Enter. Click on the field against Hot Fluid Pressure Drop and enter it as 0.025 bar. Then, press Enter. Click on the field against Overall Heat Transfer Coefficient and enter it as 450 watt meter square kelvin then press enter click on the field against heat exchange area and enter it as 250 meter square then press enter now we will run the simulation from the toolbar click on solve flow sheet button when the calculations are completed click on heat exchanger in the flow sheet from the property editor window of heat exchanger, locate result section. Check thermal efficiency. It is 94.5%. Check log bin temperature difference. It is 10.29 degree centigrade. Now, we will check the stream waste temperature results and material balance. Go to insert menu and select master property table. Double click on master property table to edit it. Configure master property table window opens. Enter name as heat exchanger stream wise results. Enter object type as material stream. By default material stream is already selected. So we will not change it. Under properties to display. Select object as water in. Methanol in. Water out, methanol out. Under property, scroll down to see all the parameters. 
Now, select the properties as temperature, pressure, mass flow, molar flow, molar fraction, mixture, methanol, molar fraction, mixture, water. Close this window. Move the master property table for better visibility. Here we can see the corresponding results for inlet and outlet streams. Now we will check the properties of heat exchanger. Go to insert menu and select master property table. Double click on master property table. Configure master property table window opens. Enter name as heat exchanger results. Enter object type as Heat Exchanger Under Properties to Display Select Object as HE004 Under Property Scroll down to see all the parameters Now select the properties as Global Heat Transfer Coefficient Heat Exchanger Area Heat Load Cold Fluid Outlet Temperature Hot Fluid Outlet Temperature logarithmic mean temperature difference, and thermal efficiency. Close this window. Move the master property table for better visibility. Here we can see the corresponding results for heat exchanger. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we have learned to simulate a heat exchanger, calculate the outlet stream temperatures, calculate thermal efficiency and LMTD, as an assignment, repeat this simulation with different compounds, fit conditions, and thermodynamics. Watch the video available at the following link. It summarizes the Spoken Tutorial project. The Spoken Tutorial project team conduct workshops and give certificates. For more details, please write to us. Please post your time queries in this forum. The faucet team coordinates conversion of existing flow sheets in DW SIM. We give honorarium and certificates. For more details, please visit this site. The faucet team coordinates coding of solved examples of popular books. We give honorarium and certificates. For more details, please visit this site. The faucet team helps migrate commercial simulator labs to DW SIM. We give honorarium and certificates. For more details, please visit this site. Spoken Tutorial and FOSSI projects are funded by NMACT, MHRD, Government of India. This tutorial is contributed by Kaushik Dutta and Priyam Nayak. Thanks for joining.